Trumpeter valve clearance adjustment of 6-cylinder diesel engine, 720 degrees short method. What is Tuppet or Valve Clearance? Tuppet or Valve Clearance is the clearance between the valve yoke and rocker arm. Why we should check or adjust the Tuppet or Valve Clearance? This is to ensure the positive closing of the valve and the thermal expansion of the valve spindle and push rods. These are some factors will happen if the clearance is less. The valve will open early and closes late. It will cause incomplete setting of the valve that will remain open, resulting in less compression pressure, burning of exhaust valves, and may increase the fouling of your turbocharger. Exhaust gas temperature will increase. The air that induced to the intake valve may leak, and air for combustion is less increase in fuel consumption these are also some factors that will happen if clearance is more valve will open late and closes early hammering of the valve spindle will damage the valve spindle rocker arm and push rod less cavench air and heat energy to the turbocharger may cause reduction of power if you heard the hammering sound to your diesel engine generator, it means you have more valve clearance. Stop the engine and check the clearance. Before checking the clearance, you must switch to engine side and pull the lever to stop position. Remove the cover of flywheel. And remove cylinder cover just a reminder the valve yoke and rocker arm clearance of the intake or suction valve and an exhaust valve are different make it sure that you use the correct filler gauge in each valve in this engine 6 ey 18 alw the firing order is 142635 one. Turn the flywheel to number 1 and 6. As you can see, there are two numbers written on the flywheel. The other one is called running myth. At this time, the cylinder that is on top dead center is number 1. We will check the push rod of cylinder number 1 and number 6. It means number one is free to move. The cylinder that is on top dead center is number one. Check the tappet clearance of exhaust valve using 0.06 mm filler gauge and 0.03 mm for intake or suction valve. In adjusting the clearance, loosen the lock nuts using box wrench. Loosen the rocker arm adjusting screw. If the clearance is less, rotate to counterclockwise to increase the gap, and if the clearance is more, rotate to clockwise to decrease the gap using flat screwdriver. Put on the filler gauge in between of the rocker arm and valve yoke. Gradually tighten the rocker arm adjusting screw. Make it sure that there is enough space to easily remove the filler gauge. Tighten the lock nut and check if the filler gauge can be removed easily. Turn the flywheel to number 4 and 3 and our next number in firing order is number 4. The cylinder that is on top dead center is number 4. We will check the number 3 and number 4 cylinder push rods. At this time, the number 4 is uh, free to move which means that uh, the number 4 cylinder is on top dead center. Check the clearance and if needed to adjust, repeat the procedures that we've done in cylinder number 1. 
we will turn again the flywheel to number two and number five the number two cylinder is on top dead center the number two of push rods are free to move and uh, this one is on top dead center the number five is not moving check the clearance again and if needed to adjust repeat the procedures that we've done in cylinder number one we will turn the flywheel to number one and six our flywheel already turns uh, at 480 degrees and uh, the cylinder number six is on top dead center the push rod of cylinder number six is free to move this one is on top dead center and for the cylinder number one is not moving check the clearance of exhaust valve and intake valve and if needed to adjust follow the same procedures as we've done in cylinder number one we will turn the flywheel to number three and number four and the number three cylinder is on top dead center cylinder number three is on top dead center and the push rods are free to to move and for the number four it's not moving and this number three is on top dead center check the clearance and adjust if needed to complete our 720 degrees we will turn our flywheel to number two and five and this time the number five cylinder is on top dead center the push rods of uh, cylinder number five are free to move and for number two is not moving the number five cylinder is on top dead center we are going to check the clearance and if necessary to adjust follow the procedures that we've done in cylinder number one our 720 degrees clearance checking and adjustment is completed for six cylinder diesel engine shout out to our engine department second engineer mascara on vacation sana all sir mike gopez our second engineer our third engineer master myong myong from Bicol. Our fourth engineer, Sir James from Athens, and to our oilers, Daddy Christian, Papa Rod, to my junior oiler, Kuya Tres. In this your GGSS and hardworking engine cadet, Ren Ren, and most of all, the love team, Cannibals, keep fighting. <laughs>